Hello, welcome to Nourish Technologies. This is Sudhakar Sharma. We are continuing our ASP.NET MVC video sessions. In our previous session, we discussed about how do we create views, view results and uh, various methods of transporting data from controller to view. Now we will discuss about other action results available in uh, MVC. If you are new to this video, once uh, go through our previous videos where we discussed about what is action result and what are the various types of action results. And we discussed about one action result called view result. Today we will see what is a partial view result. Actually partial view result, it uh, represents, represents a base class that is used to render a partial view, partial view to the response. So, it represents a base class that is used to render a partial view to the response. So, partial view result is used to render a partial view to the response. What actually a partial view is? The first point you have to know that a partial view is similar to a web user control, web user control. Just like in your ASP.NET web forms, you have web user controls, you can create your own controls. So, in ASP.NET MVC, we have partial views. A partial view is just like a web user control. So, it is a reusable prototype. That means, uh, we can create a layout, we can create a prototype and we can use this prototype anywhere in our application. So, if a certain screen prototype or layout is required regularly, then instead of designing it every time, we can design it as a partial view and we can access and use in any another view. That means, uh, it is a reusable prototype uh, that can be accessed, accessed and used accessed and used in any another view. It is a reusable prototype that you can access and use in any another view. So, generally in ASP.NET web forms, uh, use user controls are there. User controls will have extension dot ASCX. In MVC, we call them as partial views and uh, partial views will have the extension dot uh, CS HTML. So, a partial view and view both have the same extension dot CS HTML. So, the main intention is you can create a prototype and you can use it in any another view. How do we create a partial view? How do we access and use the partial view? We will see now. So, first let us see how do we create a partial view. I will switch to the MVC project and uh, here I am adding a new controller, add a new controller and it is an empty controller. Let us put the name as home. In the home controller already we have an action called index. Let us make this index action as a view result and we will add a view for this, add view, it is an empty view, just we are adding an index view. Now, this is the index page. So, what I want in the index is, I want to design a login screen and my intention is, I want a login screen in such a way so that I can use that login screen anywhere in my application. That means, I must be able to access that login screen from anywhere. Then you cannot design it directly here. So, I want a reusable user interface. I want a reusable prototype. Then how you can create a reusable prototype? So, first reusable prototypes are nothing but partial views. So, how do we create a partial view? Let us see. To create a partial view, 
So, we have to define public the action result as a partial view result and we will give the partial view result name as a partial view name as login and if it is a partial view result actually it returns it returns partial view it returns partial view. So, view result will return a view and partial view result will return a partial view. So, we created a controller action method with an intention to return partial views. Now, how to add a partial view? Let us see, right click on the action, login and select add view. When we are adding the view, the view name is login and template is empty and very important is uh, we have to select the option create as partial. So, a partial view when you are adding into your application, you have to choose the option create as partial. Otherwise, it will be treated as an ordinary view. So, you have to choose the option create as a partial view. Now, let us say ok, a partial view is added. Now, design your user interface here. So, I am designing a form ok and in the form I am defining a div with a heading say login and I am designing a simple login screen. So, I will use a data list in that we have data term and I will say user name and uh, we have a data definition here we will have input uh, type is equal to text ok and uh, another data term I define password and uh, I will use data definition as uh, input type password. It is just a design right input type password ok and uh, after the data list I will put a button and let us put the name as login. So, we designed a login screen that means we designed a simple reusable prototype. Now, after designing a partial view, now I want to access this partial view and use in the index. So, once you create a partial view, if you want to access the partial view and use in any another view, for that you have to use the methods that means the methods that are used to that are used to access any partial view any partial view or we have uh, html we have html dot partial partial and uh, we have html dot render partial. So, in order to access a partial view and use the partial view in any view we have two options partial and render partial. What is difference between partial and render partial we will discuss in next level. As of now how to access a partial view you can use any one of these. Let us see. So, I will go to index. Now, in the index action I want to access that partial view. So, that means in the index I want to show the login screen. How do we access the partial view? It is very simple we have to use html dot partial and the partial view name. The partial view name is a login. So, we are creating a partial view login and we are accessing the partial view here. Now, let us run this and see you can observe that now the index action is having a login screen, but that login screen is not designed in the index directly. We designed the login as a partial and we are accessing in index. What is the intention of doing this is now the login screen can be accessed and used in any page. It can be accessed and used in any view. So, to access the partial view we are using the method html partial or we can also use html dot render partial. Let us take a look how it is displayed. So, now you can see we have a login screen and uh, displayed that login screen inside the index page. So, what is the if you want again th 
to use this then you can add any number of times for example so i am adding a line break and i want that partial login again then i will show you another method we have to represent the razor block and here we have to define html dot render partial and we can also use login right that means we can use two options partial and render partial now let's see how it is accessed so that means we are trying to access that login in index two times and display so just to show the difference the to show the point that you can access by using html partial and html render partial so you can observe here now login is rendered two times so what is the main intention of uh, creating partial view the main intention of creating partial view is to design a reusable prototype so that we can access and use it in any location now here the key important point we need to know is what is the difference between html partial and html render partial let's see what are the differences between html partial and render partial this is a very frequently asked question everywhere because both are used to access a partial view then what's different partial and render partial let's see what are the differences between partial and render partial so the first about uh, html dot partial first point is uh, html dot partial is a method is a method that returns that returns html string html partial returns a html string that means it renders a partial view and whatever the result that comes as the result of that particular partial view that that is stored in a html string that means the rendered rendered partial view result can be stored in a html string that can be stored in a html string so html partial is a method that can access the partial view and uh, return the partial view result in the form of a html string so that you can store the result of that partial view in any html string so what is the advantage of storing in a html string so you can cache cache the result that is written by partial view once it is stored in a reference you can cache the result that is stored in the reference what is the advantage of doing that because if the partial view is requested several times within a specific duration of time then you can access it from the buffer instead of accessing from the server so it will reduce the burden on server another important point is uh, here html dot partial will uh, render the partial view but it will use a round trip and you know that so if any result is rendered as a round trip that means it is slow in access it is slow in access so partial html dot partial will render the partial view by using a round trip so if it uses a round trip then it is slow in access because round trip will increase the number of requests for a page so one of the major uh, issue with uh, partial is it uses a round trip and it is slow in access we can take a look at that here i will right click on partial and go to definition you can see that this html dot partial is returning an mvc html string actually this mvc html string go to definition it is coming from a html string that means that html dot partial is uh, returning a html string so that's the reason we can store that result in a reference and we can access and use it and uh, see it is an static method so once it is allocated in the memory you can access from any reference so that is one of the major advantage of a html partial but what's the drawback in partial is it uses a round trip it is slow in access then uh, what is uh, html dot render partial html dot render partial is also a method used for accessing the partial view but uh, 
it is a method method so without uh, any return value it is a method without any return value that means uh, what this html render partial will do is it will directly it will directly render a string to response it will directly render a string to response that means whatever the result is there the result will be rendered in the form of a string to the response that means now the result cannot cannot be cached the result cannot be cached but uh, it will not use any round trip it will not use round trip hence it is fast in access so that means so whenever you want to cache the result that is written by partial you better use partial html partial and if you don't want to cache the result just you want to print the result you want to render the result to the response directly as string then you can go with render partial so it depends on the requirement so render partial will not use any round trip then it will be obviously fast so it depends on requirement whether you use partial or render partial so you can see that here when we go to the definition of render partial you can see render partial is void that means it is no return type so it's not returning any value so it directly renders a html string so it the result returned will be a html string directly into the browser so you cannot cache the result you cannot store the result in any reference but however it is more faster because it will not use any round trip syntactically how we write partial and render partial you have seen this in this example html partial is just written like a method and defined like a method and html render partial must be defined in a razor block and uh, render partial will access the partial view and return the partial view so now this is a simple basic example to understand how to create a partial view how a partial view result works and how do we access and use the partial view and the major difference between partial and render partial in our next session we will discuss a simple example of uh, properly using a partial view and several more frequently asked questions related to partial views thank you mm -hmm.